In a show of force, Israeli warplanes flew low over the Lebanese capital, breaking the sound barrier several times and creating sonic booms. They were the loudest heard by residents of Beirut since Hezbollah opened up a front along the border to help Gaza 10 months ago. And it happened minutes before Hezbollah's leader was to address the one-week memorial for their slain military leader Fuad Shukr, during which he made clear Iran, Hezbollah, and Yemen's Houthis will respond to Israel's recent aggressions, regardless of the consequences. Our response is coming, God willing. The question is whether we do this independently or will there be a coordinated attack from all the members of the Axis? This is an option. Maybe we decide that it is in the interest of all if each responds alone. We may all respond at the same time. This is a big battle. Israel killed Hezbollah's chief of staff, Fuad Shukr, in an airstrike in the southern suburbs of Beirut last week. Hours later, the political head of Hamas, Ismail Hani was assassinated in the Iranian capital, an attack Iran blamed on Israel. Hours before Nasrallah's speech, Israel's air defenses failed to intercept explosive drones launched by Hezbollah that reached some 20 kilometers south of the border with Lebanon, despite the heightened state of alert. Israel has been bracing for the promised retaliation. Officials are defiant, saying the country is prepared for any scenario, including a swift transition to offense. And we're currently fighting a seven-fronted war uh, by Iran that is seeking to strangle us. But we are, of course, seeing down uh, their terrorist proxies. Tensions are at an all-time high. Streets are almost empty. It wasn't the first time we heard Israeli jets flying over Beirut, but the loud booms created panic. People were shaken and headed home. Now they and the region waits for what comes next in a dangerously escalating conflict. That wait, according to Nasrallah, is part of the punishment. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.